anybody who is right thinking will know that all that stares us on the face is punishment. Of course, there is a fire flame burning in the camp of um, Tenembo already as Tunde Bakari, or Tunde Bakari has come out to make his own measures and, uh, you know, say his own token of how the election went. I will never call Tinubu my president, says Bakari. Now, uh, we have seen a lot of mess that is already going on in this whole election brouhaha, whatever, and they're about to hand over Tinubu as the president. Of course, some people have been in my comment section saying that I should keep my tears for May 29. Of course, nobody's going to cry. It is you that said I should keep my tears that is going to cry because whether you like it or not, I and my family and my people will never suffer because of some people's uh, 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 bitterness, some people's tribalistic, demonic uh, possession that has taken over them. Yes, <clears throat> this is just the beginning. You know, this is just the beginning, and uh, we must keep in touch. Whatever our message will be. Now, I'm going to allow you to watch this video. It's a very short clip, but you're going to watch it, then we're going to come back to discuss it. But before that, the seven overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church, Pastor Tunde Bakari, has said he will never call the president-elect Paula Tinimbu his president. The cleric, the cleric and politician during a webinar on Saturday alleged a series of my practice during the 2023 elections saying the independent national electoral commission made a mess of the electoral process of course today would have been a joyous sunday as we pray and prepare for the handover of uh p2b but buari uh, don't want people to forget him easily he really want people to thank god that he was the president of nigeria and that is why he handed the worst man who is still able to run the affairs of this country. I pity, you see, the people I pity are those people jumping and celebrating that Tinimbu is their president. Let's wait for one year. Do you understand? Let's wait for one year. Everything will normalize. Everything will balance. Everything will normalize. Everything will balance. Well, prepare your heart. Because most of you who voted for Tinimbu is about to experience heartbreak. Watch the video. Anybody who is right thinking we know that all that stares us on the face is punishment. That an administration that flew into our nation on the wings of integrity and anti-corruption is about to pass a baton to another administration who does not have integrity or anti-corruption. If God will not intercept, our situation will be worse than it is today. I'm not against anybody. I'm just teaching you plain truth. So God saw anybody who is right thinking will know that all that stares us in the face is punishment. That an administration that flew into our nation on the wings of integrity and anti-corruption is about to pass a button to another administration who does not have integrity or anti-corruption. If God will not intercept, our situation will be worse than it is today. I'm not against anybody. I'm just teaching you plain truth. So God saw anybody who is right thinking will know that all that stares us in the face is punishment. The cleric and politician during a webinar on Saturday allegedly alleged a series of my practice during the 2020 election saying the independent national electoral commission made a mess of the electionary process he said this while responding during a question and answer session after delivering a speech on the zoom program titled building the new nigeria the role of diaspora organized by the ptb for nigeria in diaspora group the meeting which began 7 pm and was monitored by our Correspondent had over 200 participants. While speaking earlier during the program, he said the 2020 election were below acceptable standard. When asked if he could be happy to work for the new government as Minister of Diaspora Engagement, 
He laughed and said he would say what he said to the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, last week. He said he told Buhari that sometimes he called his president of Nigeria, other times he called him my president. Wakari said last Wednesday I was at the glass house where the Buhari has been respected now because the main house is being renovated. I said I have done that for you. I want you to know that because of the circumstances of your, of your flying into power on the wings of integrity and incorruptibility, but you are now passing on to someone who does not have the, that value. He said that at any public lecture, anywhere before this mess is cleared off, I will address as Tinubu as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, but I will never call him my president. Nigeria is in big trouble if Tinubu fails. He said he didn't participate in the elections and therefore no one could say he lost. Bakare, who participated in all the pro in the all progressive Congress presidential primary in June 2022, where nominated forms were sold for 100 million naira, put no single vote. Briefly touching this, he said, I participated in the primary and there were hundreds of persons who participated only by stepping down. So there's no shame in what we have done. We spoke through to power. I wasn't there when they voted. I wasn't there when they scored me zero. But we won that badge of zero and badge of honor. He said, adding that this was because some defeats were more triumphant than victories. Answering the question, he said, if he was called to be a minister under the incoming government, there would be conditions to it. But I am not desperate to be a minister. Not at all. I was offered before but I turned it down. My life is not just to take photographs with the president and shake hands. But we will do if it will benefit even one citizen. Tinubu will on Monday, May 29, be sworn in as the president of the country. On Thursday, Tinubu was handed the transition report by Buhari, where he also promised not to disappoint Nigerians. He pledges to address the security and power crisis, among other challenges confronting the country. Yes. And this is the final result we are here to read to you guys. In on Monday, which is tomorrow, of course, the very D Day is, is is going to come. What is holding it is just tonight. May 29 is already the corner. And everybody is going to see that Tinimbu will be the president of Nigeria. Even though he's very corrupt, so many criminality surrounding him, and people are celebrating. But those who say we should hold our tears, we, we are going to cry on May 29. It is them, I say, that after May 29, yes, many people will cry because they have put in the wrong man we never voted for. But don't worry. The future holds more tears. Don't be the person who will first cry and then cry finish. You get on that cry where they go start. And that very cry is a cry that will touch everybody. So let it continue to happen the way it will happen. Because along the line, everybody will finally rest. I love you guys. Thanks for supporting. Peace out.